what's up everybody welcome back to another episode of gunfish tv i want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today i appreciate it very much right now it is warm but this particular tournament in this video you're about to watch it was not warm at all it was 27 degrees when we took off that morning and it was extremely tough i forgot to do an intro for it but a major cold front and a lot of rain had came in a couple days prior it had been like in the mid 70s and it had dropped all the way down into the 20s with highs in the upper 40s super super tough conditions the water temps had dropped big time and those pre-spawn cold fronts can really really make the fishing tough but we had to go out there and catch some fish had to grind it out see if we could do good in the tournament so uh watch the video see how i did and let's get to the water We're gonna get started. We're gonna start right here. Water temp 53.81 right now. So it's pretty doggone cold, a lot colder than what it has been, but that's all right. And the water is uh is down a lot too. So we'll see if we can catch some darn fish. Get my battery pack on. We gotta get them today. Got a good a good crowd of people gonna take some weight I guarantee it there's gonna be a lot of people in the back of this creek a lot but we're gonna start off flipping flipping the old rage bug get that net out hopefully we need that today a lot I know this water temperature's probably dropped like seven degrees in the last three days. I mean, probably more than seven degrees, truthfully. And the back of this creek is probably warmer we'll figure that out but i'm almost positive it is a ton of people back there in the back when i get around that corner i bet it's gonna be a bunch of people back there Small guy, he ain't no keeper on fight. Get this bass. I don't believe he's no keeper, but hey, we got fish number one. Or well, caught the first fish pretty quick. Flipping, he's gotta be 14. Nope. 13 and a half. Well, thank you, bud. Thank you for biting. Gotta figure out how to catch these big ones. 723 put the first fish in the boat. Whew, touching that water, my hands are freezing. I'm gonna pick that spinner bait up. Throw that spinner bait down the shoreline. It's that booyah covert. Throw this bad boy down there. All right, so it's 8:28 right now. 
caught that one fish that wasn't a keeper. And I'm throwing the spinnerbait right now. Haven't got bit on it yet. Throwing it for probably, probably a hundred yards along the shoreline. Just working it along kind of slow, trying to get bit. If I don't get bit, I'm gonna pick that uh, rage bug back up right when I get back to that tree up here in front of me. I don't think that was a bite. I don't think he's gonna keep. Yes, <laughs> Let's see if we got our first keeper. We'll spin a bait. Yep, keeper number one. Keeper number one right there. I didn't think he was gonna keep, but he did. Good deal. We're gonna put him on a small side and we just caught him at 8.30. All right, baby. Let's get it going. You're gonna need a lot bigger than that, but gotta get started somewhere. Got him on that Booyah Covert. It's gonna be. That's like a pretty, that's a doggone black fish. Turn it. Thought I had me a bass. Chill out. There you go, nasty sucker. We're gonna have to move here in a second. We are gonna have to move to figure something out. Cause we are not getting it done in here. The bad thing is when we move, we're gonna be going somewhere we ain't never been or seen. But that's gonna be part of it. We're gonna be learning today cause we ain't gonna sit here and die in here. It's 9.33 right now. Like how this looks and i don't think these fish probably got nowhere near the pressure that the other fish did so we're gonna come up here and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch some darn fish oh this water temp is way warmer 56.38 all right let's see if we can catch us a darn fish yeah i like the way this looks i really do i like the way this looks better than than the other place we were at. Better than Cow Creek. All right, let's see. Let's throw, we're gonna start off with this spinnerbait. Yeah, we're gonna go with this spinnerbait to see if we can get bit. And then we'll flip or do whatever we gotta do, but there's a couple people down there on the right. Yeah, I like the way this looks way better. And this water's way warmer too. which is always good. Put some fish up there shallower. Ooh. 
Right, there we go. All right. Well, ain't been here long. He's a little squeaker, but he's a fish. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. Might be on to something. Doggone blackfish. Darn it. That's all I can catch today. Freaking blackfish. Gotta be some darn big bass in here. Got to be. I think I need to run back at it. I need to run back up a little bit. I'm gonna run back up the creek a little bit. I just need a little bit deeper water. These shorelines, they, they come off. They're kind of weird and it's just not a lot of of uh treetops and wood and stuff so that's what we need so that's what we're gonna go see if we can find a little more of we're gonna try right here get my glasses teeny little teeny dude god knows I don't know what we got to do to run into some big females or something I don't know I mean they're definitely oh god oh, oh. see here I go missing I was just saying they're definitely on wood. I mean, 100%. That fish just knocked the crap out of this thing. I don't understand why I'm missing so many fish. All right. That's it. That's it for this. We got to pick the spinner bait up. I can't I can't throw this no more. I'm just gonna be gonna be getting it out of stumps more than anything else. I'm gonna pick up this spinner bait. That's the only thing I've caught a darn keeper on. So I'm gonna pick that back up. Got doggone sticks tricking me. Oh, there is one little teeny. We just picked it back up, though. Maybe, maybe that's just the right thing. I mean, maybe that's what we need to be doing. I don't know. That's a keeper. That was a keeper right there. Get in here. That's keeper number two. <laughs> All right. All right. 
He ain't nothing big, but we'll take him. Make sure he's over 14 all day. All right. Spinner bait. Well, we know what we're keeping in our hand for the rest of the dog going day. Freaking spinner bait. Two casts, two bites. Might be a little little lot of them right here or something all right it's 132 we struggling we are struggling but we're trying i uh, have caught a few fish on this booyah covert spinnerbait 3 8 ounce we're going to keep at it just jump back over to the shady side here hopefully we'll get us a big one that's funny I don't think this is a keeper day. No. That fish was up there shallow. Alright, we're kind of getting into something now. Some male. They're peeing all over the place. Alright, but we're kind of kind of figuring a little something out. That's all right, though. I'm getting bit. I saw my blades disappear. These are all uh, just males coming in. They're peeing all over the place. But the dink, get in there. We are catching a few fish. It's like right when I got right back into that wind, into that ripple, I got bit. That one little area where I didn't get bit didn't have any ripple on it because it's right here, kind of around, around a bend, kind of. I don't know what fish they I mean, I guess they could be brim, you know, picking this thing up. There's one. Got him. That's a nice one. Get in here. I think he'll keep. I think he will. No, I don't know. He's shrinking on me. I was going to say, I mean, it might be brim picking it up, but no, we got number three. We ain't giving up, baby. We ain't giving up, doggone it. Two oh eight. Two oh eight. They are down in the woods. Got that one. Yep, there, there. They are pulling up there. Come back there, bud. Yep, they are pulling up. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Let's do this. I mean, they're getting up there shallow. Y'all notice I say there he is every time I set the hook. <laughs> Gotta let y'all know about the swing. Oh, I don't think he's gonna keep. He is not gonna keep, I don't believe. Get out of there, God. Behind the world, did I miss all them other ones? And freaking peg the crap out of him. Not 13 and a half. Man, I should get one right here. All right, we're down to the last 10 minutes. The last 10 minutes. I know I'm not hung again. I'm hung again, y'all. It is one of those days. 
my mess is getting wedged every i mean look at it just pop right out it's just it's just one of them days you know we fished hard and i put it all and put it all on the table look at that hung again hook is not sticking out i promise you it's not sticking out this is crazy three flips in a row three flips in a row it has been one of those screwed up days <sighs> i mean look just pop right off look hook ain't even sticking out it's crazy this thing needs to get hung in a doggone fish's mouth instead of hung in the darn trees darn it i really thought when i when i got on this bike as quick as it was happening i really thought that i could get my limit thought i could dial it in quick and, and get them but if it don't happen in seven minutes then it ain't gonna happen that's for sure well we didn't do bad for the lack of trying i fished as hard as i know how but i did not fish clean at all missed opportunities have been everywhere today but that's how it is that's how it is some days Sure, but that's fishing. The number one squeaker. Number two. And there's number three. We ain't got much today, boys and girls. Three, man. We ain't catching two. Mid, mid, missed, missed opportunities, I can't say that, but. Boat number? I caught, 23. Caught a bunch of things today. Yeah, I caught a bunch of little ones too. Yeah, I caught two of them. Three, three fish. Three fish, three live. Put this over for me, Kevin. Three fish, three live. Total weight. Five point two six. Five point two six. All right, we just got back here to the house going to get the boat cleaned up and I got my butt whooped today. <laughs> I finished 11th out of 25. I only had 5.26 pounds with three fish. It was just a really, really tough day of fishing. A lot of other people really struggled. It took 18 pounds to win. So some guys did find some decent bags. Second place was 17 pounds, but I'm not making any excuses. You know, I fished hard. I just, it was one of those days where things really weren't going my way and I was getting hung a lot. I was missing a lot of fish and just, you have days like that sometimes. And it was kind of one of those days for me. 
but you know i fished as hard as i could and i re never never really figured anything out you know caught fish on the spinner bait caught them flipping missed a ton of bites flipping but you know right there at the end of the day they kind of pulled up on some wood up on the flats in that pocket i was in and i was getting bit pretty good but i just could not get a hook in them it was just things were a little rough on me today but you know it is what it is you live and you learn and you kind of learn from every tournament that's part of tournament fishing is uh you know you go into your next tournament and you know take what you've learned and use it and you know i kind of didn't fish real clean and my thought process wasn't that good today but you know every tournament it can't be sometimes you get scrambled and today i did a little bit so anyway we're gonna get them next time though i appreciate y'all watching and i'll see you next time on gunfish tv